Hey there, Scipio here, and I'm going to take you along with me as I go through the process of extending the motor wires on my Afro ESCs. But before I get into that, I want to pause here for a second and let you know that this is not for the faint of heart. So there are other ways to do this, um, including just adding uh, bulleted wires or even just mounting your ESCs uh, up on the boom and then using your wiring harness to connect to the battery to extend to get to the ESCs. I decided that I was going to extend the motor wires off the ESC. So again, uh, it involves soldering on the, uh, the ESC circuit board. So if you're not comfortable with that, there are other options. But um, this is my first time to do this. I was a little bit uh, nervous about it. I went ahead and went for it and it worked out fine. So uh, let me show you how it worked. So the first thing I need to do is get the plastic wrapper off of the ESCs. And originally I was trying to do it and just kind of leave the label and pull the plastic up and cut it around where I could get to the motor wires. But as it turns out, I just decided to take the whole label off anyway. Uh, since the ESCs are hidden, it doesn't really matter. It also allowed me better access to remove the power wire from two of the ESCs that are running to the flight controller. So I bought some of this silicone wire from Hobby King and I got it in the three colors red black and yellow which is what the ESC's come with and also the motor wires for that matter uh, you know you don't have to color code matter of fact the color coding may not even match the optimal motor direction anyway when you get done but I went ahead and decided to get multiple colors and what I'm doing here is stripping off a few millimeters off the end of each wire this will be the part that I actually solder on to the ESC now the length of these wires, I basically uh, laid out my tricopter. The motor uh, and arms are now, uh, you know, able to be installed at least just for staging. And then tried to figure out what length would work best for uh, my ESC placement, which in this case is in the body, and got them all close and just made them all the same length. Next, I tend all of the wires that I just stripped. And as you can see here, they're all ready to go. The first thing I decided to do was remove the center power wire on the wires that are going to go to my flight controller. The reason I'm doing this on motors 2 and 3 is because I'm going to use a external BEC, a switching BEC, and I don't want to have these linear BEC power uh, cables running at the same time as I have the switching. So I'm desoldering that red wire from the board and then I'll also remove it from the other end in the connector. Now I'll go to work on the motor wires. And as you can see, I love using my vise for things like this. Now I'm removing the motor wires from the board by carefully desoldering them. And now I'm soldering on the new lengthened motor wires. I'm using the same color coding that was originally on the ESCs. By the way, adding a little flux here uh, goes a long ways. I used a flux pin to add some flux so that the solder would uh, quickly bond whenever I applied heat. I didn't want to heat the boards any more than I needed to. So here's what I've got so far. The extended motor wires for the ESC and then also the stripped power wire from the connector going to the flight controller. I have some clear 25 millimeter shrink tubing that I'll use to cover the ESC now that I'm done. And of course I hit it with my favorite heat gun and everything shrinks up nicely. So here's the finished product. I just do this two more times except on one of them I leave the power wire on the flight controller cable. That'll be the ESC I use for motor number one. Oh yeah, one more thing. I did solder on male bullets to the other ends of the cables. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.